Hi guys, we've got a brand new template. This one is five core swipe controls or flip controls on the device. Now you notice we've got a plane in the scene. Now the movement of the plane is determined by the swipe length and angle. So it's really nice. It determines when you actually touched and swiped and the angle that you swiped and it always finds the quickest way to rotate. So I'm just going to give you a, a little test on this one. We've got five different mechanics using the swipe or flick uh, mech. You can see now I'm going to swipe up, I'm going to swipe down, but I'm going to do a pretty big swipe down and you can see the plane rotating and moving at the speed. Now I'm going to do a long swipe down and there you go. It doesn't matter where you do it on the screen, the plane will interact with your angle and your swipe length. So that's really nice. I'm just going to show you some different ones as well. This one is like a crazy golf sort of setup. Now you don't need this but I've added a, an arrow key to show you which direction you're swiping in and a power bar, very simple power bar comes up at the top. So I'm just going to go anywhere on the screen, swipe and there you go. I'm going to um, quickly swipe again and that should hopefully get me in, in the hole. Oh yes it does, and the ball resets. So just quickly show you that one again. Anywhere on the screen is again, swipe, and there you go. And hopefully that will get me in the hole. No it doesn't. <laughs> a little one up, and there you go. So that's rather nice as well, it's just a different mechanic using the swipe technique. This one is a multi-scene setup, it works in multi-scenes, you don't have to do anything like the uh, mouse position like you normally do when you're using uh, bigger scenes. This scene's 960 by 640 and you can see we've got a bit of a balloon there, we've got some gravity pulling the balloon down and when we swipe in any direction the balloon will go. You can swipe down any direction at all. When the balloon hits the floor it'll just have a little bounce. So that's rather nice with the multi-scene setup. And we've also got an arrow. You can see this now. I'm going to just throw this arrow up in the air. It's going to rotate and it's got gravity on it. But the beauty of this is it's rotating in the velocity of the X and Y. So it's really nice. And you could do this. You could use this mech for um, target practice or any, any games really like that. You can do a keep me up. Small swipes just to uh, keep the arrow up there or a long swipe just to keep moving it. You can see how fast it is. It's very responsive. It runs at 60 frames a second um, on a second gen touch. So it's really nice. And moving on, last but not least, we've got a little robot here. Now this one's slightly different as in when wherever I let go the swipe is going to move to. And if it's a small swipe it's going to go slow. If it's a big swipe it's going to move fast. But wherever the swipe finishes is where the robot will go to. So just quickly run through again, you've got a plane that's determined on the length of the swipe and the angle of the swipe and it always rotates to find the quickest uh, route. You've got a, a mini golf type game where you can see the direction of your swipe and the power of your swipe. You've got a balloon keep me up type game over four scenes with no added extra code or anything, it works on multi scenes with a bit of gravity. You've got the arrow, so the target practice that will rotate downwards because I've got the gravity set to down. So that's rather nice, a bit of target practice or shooting at some zombies or whatever you want to do with that one. And last but not least, this one will move to the touch, to the swipe, finish and depending on how big the swipe will determine how fast it moves. So yeah, five core swipe controls, flip control template, and it's going to be available over on Deep Blue Apps very soon, and it's priced at only £10. So get it while it's hot, guys, and I'll speak to you soon, and take care.